Today I'd like to talk to you about my tilting ham radio tower. The tower is 56 feet high and the top of the 2 meter antenna is at 80 feet. My main motivation for building a tilting tower was the fact that I, my age I really don't feel like climbing 60 to 80 feet in the air to do antenna maintenance. Plus I'm not smart enough to remember all the tools I'm going to need once I get up there so I know I'm going to be going up and down that tower so I didn't want any of that. It's also a lot more fun to be working on your antennas and doing maintenance when they're down at ground level. The main basis of the design is uh, a triangular shaped base uh, that will tilt upon one of the edges. I'm using a weighed uh, heavy duty tower. It's 56 feet tall. There's a falling derrick that you can see in the picture and it's uh, one of the principal components in the lifting mechanism. It's primarily built using 4x4 quarter inch steel angle iron. And again, here the triangular base structure to match the antenna base. Here gives you an idea how the product is going to end up at the end. So basically using a chop saw and a little bit of elbow grease, uh, spending a few hours cutting and chopping, you can uh, end up with all the pieces necessary to come up with this sort of a tilting tower base. The base is the actually plate on the, the plate of the base is a quarter inch steel 48 by 40 inch piece of steel. Here I'm just building the hinges. There's two hinges and they're they're built cutting up pieces of four by four angle iron. Here are a few close-up pictures of the hinge mechanism. And you can see it connected to the base triangle and how it'll actually tilt. At this stage I'm just uh, uh, locating where I need to drill the holes through the plate and I'm using the plywood template that uh, I used when I was constructing the, the cement base. That's what it looked like when it was actually just holding the J bolts before the concrete uh, base pad was poured. There should be a YouTube video in the near future showing how to do that. Here I'm just showing you uh, uh, just uh, the, the, how to use a proper hole punch. Now I'm drilling the holes into the base plate. I'm drilling them now so that when all the other elements are welded onto the plate, I can go back and drill those holes through the backside and make sure they're going to be at exactly the right place. I was just testing here to make sure that the plate fit on the actual base because uh, there's no moving those J bolts once they're in the concrete. I was kind of proud of this moment. Everyone likes to see that. Good. Just assembling the, just locating the, the various components, doing a bit of finish grinding and, and uh, positioning of the pieces. Right before I started my tack welding, that was kind of the last bit of positioning. Made sure everything was lined up properly and all the spaces and tolerances were were allowed for. Because as the, as the inner triangle tilts up, you need to allow for a little space so it'll clear the base. Just tack welding everything using a, a TIG welder. Here I'm just drilling out uh, the holes for the uh, base stubs. These are steel plates. One will go in each corner and they're going to line up with each base leg of the antenna. It's also to be noted that the antenna base was reinforced. Maybe hard to tell in the picture, but um, the, the antenna base is, is doubled up in terms of the, the side pieces that you, you might be able to see on each leg. So here I'm just lining them up with the base stubs. All that will get welded and then the tower will be bolted into that. Things are starting to get heavy at this point and I've drilled the holes all the way through the bottom of the base plate through the quarter inch 4x4 angle iron plates. I was uh, just getting ready to paint this. So here's what it looked like. It looks like mounted on the uh, concrete base. It's bolted down into place and uh, I was just starting to do some of the final work on it. You can see the falling derrick in this picture here. That was just at the initial assembly phases. There's two eye bolts bolted into the base of the, uh, to the end of the falling derrick. And here you can see the, the lifting cables. And those two eye bolts are actually drill, they're actually screwed into a retaining nut and a locking nut up at the top. So it's, it's not just relying on being bolted to that thin, thin steel of the fall, falling derrick. 
getting closer to actually doing uh, some some lifting. The falling derrick also I put in some lateral guy wires to give it a little more uh, lateral stability. Again, you can just see the falling derrick and looking down to the tower. The attachment cables aren't hooked up yet. There's three of them on the side of the tower. So here we are lifting. Again, I mentioned there's three cables. You may be able to see them up on the top edge. There's one all the way up at the top of the tower, one about at the one-third point, and one down about the two-third point. So there's three cables going to the falling derrick, and then one larger cable going into the winch line. That was all. That, the, by the way, that lift speed you just saw was not uh, true speed. It was sped up. This is at true uh, lift speed right now. You can see it lifting up. You'll also notice that the beam is tilting. I'll have uh, another video on how to how I built the uh, tilt plate for that. Again, this is uh, real in real speed. And if you look closely, you'll see the three top cables going to the antenna tower and then going to the top of the falling derrick. You see the falling derrick over on your left. And my Kubota has basically a pulley. It's just being used to hold a pulley in the bucket so that the cable from the falling derrick goes down towards the bucket and the cable continues off over into the image over onto the right side. I don't know if you'll see my... Uh, you'll if you look over to the right soon you're gonna see my pickup truck and if you look carefully you can see the falling derrick getting close to being horizontal with the ground so there's a 12,000 pound witch on the front of my truck going out to a, a pulley that's connected to one of those trees then it's heading out to the bucket at the Kubota where there's another pulley and then that's going up to the falling top top to the falling derrick at this stage, it's almost all the way up. Again, this is in real time. And you'll see the beam finally just tilt into position. There's a little bump. The antenna's rotating a bit because when I took these shots, there was no rotor connected to my mast at that time. So here's a, a few more shots of the, of the shack at the back, the antenna. Thanks again for watching and I will try and get more videos on the construction process up on my YouTube channel very shortly. Thanks again. Just wanted to add a word in closing. Please note that I provided this video for entertainment purposes only and as such I've left out a lot of uh, construction and engineering design details out of this video. If you do attempt to make a tilting tower base make certain that you are qualified and are capable of making uh, the proper material selections and that you understand what proper construction techniques are required to build such a device.